And it's Armageddon. That's what it is. Has anyone seen this? The Tribune, founded by Horace Greeley, one of the last bastions of serious journalism in this country, is running a front-page expose on Holly Adams, the Beltway Madam. The Tribune. It's Listen to this dribble. Nicknamed the Beltway Madam for allegedly running the capital's priciest prostitution ring, Holly Adams grew up the middle daughter of a small-town businessman full of determination and grit. This is unbelievable. A hooker gets the headline and half the front page. Clinton's health care package gets two paragraphs and a Doonesbury. What is happening to this country? It's like people are obsessed. You can't turn on the television or the radio without hearing Holly this, Holly that. Meanwhile, there's fighting in Bosnia, Russia's collapsing. What could these women possibly do to get that kind of money? Oh. <laughs> Sex and innuendo. That's what sells these days. Woody Allen and Mia Farrow. Donald Trump and Marla Maples. Pee Wee Herman and... Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> I remember a time when journalism was a profession of honor. Morning, people. Oh, Hello. Morning, Morning. Well, I just had an interesting meeting with the network brass. All those guys. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. Automatically assuming it's something bad. Because every time you laugh like that after a network meeting, it is something bad. The last time they wanted us to do cameos as victims of a stagecoach accident on Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, remember that? <laughs> Jane Seymour was gonna amputate Frank's leg with a bowie knife. <laughs> this isn't like that at all. In fact, the entire meeting was about the news and how much of it there is these days. From the deficit to Somalia to Holly Adams. <laughs> Oh, boy, they want us to cover Holly Adams? You told them we wouldn't do it, didn't you, Miles? <laughs> Will you stop that? Now, let's just face facts for a minute. This kind of thing fascinates people. So do traffic accidents, but we don't set up our camera on I-95 and wait for a 10-car pileup. <laughs> Murphy's right. I'm not about to do the kind of sensationalistic trash I saw on Channel 3 last night. What men want? The love secrets of Holly's dollies. Or the garbage on Channel 12. Suburban sex rings. How to tell if your neighbor's a hooker. <laughs> about that capital sex pose on Channel 8. Will someone please explain the news value of reporting from inside an S&M shop? There were devices in there they could have front-mounted on tanks during the Gulf War. Well, well, well. Considering how disgusted you all are by all the coverage, it doesn't seem like any of you missed a single report. It was on while I was folding my laundry. It, it was Doris's night with the clicker. I was uh, looking for the Discovery Channel. <laughs> Admit it. You weren't folding or flipping or clicking. You were watching. And why? Because you were curious. Everyone's curious. Who's hooking? Who's being hooked? Is there a black book? Who might be in it? People, there is a story here, and our competition is running with it. Are we going to be the only ones left in the dust? Fine, we met. Sure. Fine. So what if there are 37 other magazine shows waiting to drive us off the air? 20, 20, 48 hours, 60 minutes. Dateline, Nightline, Primetime, it's a jungle out there. And everyone expects old Buona Silverberg to carry us through. <laughs> well, grab your machetes and start whacking. FYI is doing this story. Yeah, you can whack all you want, Miles, but you're whacking along. Tell him, guys. Listen, Murph, you know, I don't like this story any more than you do, but this may be one fight we can't win. Yeah, he's got a point, Slugger. In my experience, when the boys upstairs want hookers, they usually get them. Miles, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to have anything to do with this story. That's all right, Corky. You don't have to cover this. Oh, and Miles, I'm up to here with my Pentagon story. There's no way I'm going to be able I, to I, I break don't, don't worry about it. Oh, no. You're not looking at me, Miles. Why aren't you looking at me? <laughs> oh, no. The network specifically asked for you. What? Why do you think? It's a cheap and tawdry story and they need you for credibility. They're not the complete idiots you think they are. No, you're right, Miles. But with a little work and practice, I'm sure they could reach full idiot potential. Enough! <laughs> Let me remind you about something, Murphy. This is a job, not make-believe. We're not doing the Mary Tyler Moore show here. There's no audience laughing at every cute little thing you say. This is the real world. So when I tell you you're doing a story, you don't just say, Oh, Mr. Grant, I don't want to. You do it! Now, Holly Adams is being reined in about 45 minutes, so you better hurry if you're going to get to the courthouse in time.